2015. Some people waving. Attention on the net. This is the NTD conducting the launch status check. All stations verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC? OTC is go. TBC? TBC go. TTC? TTC is go. LPS? LPS is go. Houston flight? Houston flight is go. Myla? Myla is go. STM? STM is go. Safety console? Safety console is go. SDE? SP is go. LRD? LRD is go. SRO? SRO is go. You have range clear to launch. And CDR? CDR is go. Launch director, NTD. Launch director. Launch team is ready to proceed. Copy that, Steve. Thank you. I'll do my poll at this time. KC Chief Processing Engineer, verify no constraints to launch. No constraints. Thank you, Steve. KC Safety Mission Assurance. KC Safety Mission Assurance. Let's go, Mike. Very good, Mark. Payload Launch Manager. Mike, we'll go to launch S6. Thank you. Copy, Bill. Range weather. Winds are 150-14-19. Weather has no constraints for launch. Copy, Kathy. Thank you. And Ops Manager. Okay, launch Director, Ops Manager 212, the MMT isn't tracking any issues. We look real good. You're go to launch. Okay, thank you, sir. Discovery Launch Director. Launch Director, go ahead for Discovery. Okay, Brew, well, you had a little bit of a wait, but uh, that'll just make the payoff that much sweeter. So on behalf of the KC launch and processing teams, good luck and Godspeed. Uh, thanks, Mike, and congratulations to you and the entire team for getting Discovery ready for a 36 mission. And, you know, it's truly an honor to be part of this team, representing all of NASA, our nation, and the international partners. Uh, thanks for the work, Mike. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Take care, and uh, let's go ahead and fire up the zone of freedom. Copy that, Brew. Thank you very much. Entity with that, you are clear to launch Discovery. Copy, clear to launch. Thank you. GLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. Discovery, OTC, best wishes. And you bring ISS to full power. Enjoy the ride tonight. Discovery copies. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. T minus six minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Start APU display recorders. Recorders running. DLC, OTC, perform APU pre start. OTC, APU pre starts in work. GLS is go for orbiter APU start. DLT, OP, OTC, perform APU start. APU starts in work. CDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. That's been working well. DLT, clear caution warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. That's been working. Close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. That's in work. GLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. GLS is go for auto sequence start. 25. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 12, 10, GLS is go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and booster ignition lift off from Space Shuttle Discovery, taking the space station to full power for full science. This is Mission Control Houston. Discovery roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Discovery 
flying three hundred and sixty five miles per hour one a half one and a half miles in altitude seven miles down range from the kennedy space center discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle Discovery, go at throttle up. Discovery, go at throttle up. Three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, 12 seconds into the flight, Discovery flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 11 and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We will now stand by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Discovery now flying 3,600 miles per hour, 32 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery, single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. Discovery could conduct a transatlantic abort landing on one engine should two fail at this point. Discovery flying at 9,000 miles per hour. Discovery's engines have been commanded to swivel to put the orbiter in the proper heads up position. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Zaragoza, Discovery can reach Zaragoza on one engine should two fail at this point. Discovery, press to Miko. Press to Miko. Discovery can reach the planned orbit on two engines. All three engines continue to operate well. Six minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Discovery flying at 11,000 miles per hour, 66 Discovery, miles in altitude. Your shutdown plan is nominal. Go for the plus X, no go the pitch. Discovery, nominal shutdown. Go for the plus X, no go for the pitch. Discovery, single engine press 104. Good read back. Single engine press 104. Discovery can reach its planned orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three still performing well at 104%. Main engine cutoff is confirmed. Discovery, Houston, nominal MECO, Ohms 1 not required. Copy that, the old one is not required. And external tank separation is confirmed. Now, 8 minutes, 57 seconds into the flight, Discovery in orbit, flying at 17,500 miles per hour. We have some video taken today from cameras on board the International Space Station of the crew watching Discovery's launch while the International Space Station was orbiting over Tasmania. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, find your Sandy Magnus with Mike Fink, commander of the Expedition 18 crew in the center of the screen, and Flight Engineer 1, Yuri Lonchikov, 
floating along the top of the screen.